fun. So here's a <laughs> here's something I would like to tell all of you about art. Um, you gotta do a lot of it, or you're not gonna get better. Woo! So you're gonna you gotta be okay with sucking, and you gotta be okay with not liking your end result, but you also need to be strong enough to ruin, be, be able and ready at any time to ruin the art that you have gotten up to to rebuild your tower in order to get better at art. Uh, <laughs> so, without further ado, I would like to show some of my art. Uh, yeah, so, because I'm cleaning it out and I have too much shit. Look at, this is all just a pile, and then there's my, you think that's my only sketchbook? Wrong! This goes down pretty deep. All right, well, that's as far as deep as it goes, but I also have filled out many more in the past. Uh, here's art making supplies, as well as here. You have to surround yourself by it, or else you're going to feel out of place, because you are an artist, and us artists need <laughs> to always be improving ourselves. So, I have just piles of this shit laying around, and this is called the contour line. I didn't pick up my pencil at all, uh, all throughout, and that's great practice. It's very hard. This was an eraser. But you see, I tried to make it kind of 3D if you looked at it from an angle. And you know what? If you don't get it, then eventually you will. And eventually I'll be able to communicate that easier. And these are all... And even though it looks boring and, like, you don't get it, you're still helping yourself improve really well, too. <laughs> I mean, even though this doesn't seem like much, you get your hand to be steady... Doing little practices don't do seem insignificant, but I promise they are everything helps. Absolutely everything that you do, failure or otherwise. These are all studies of things like toys that the teacher had lying around. But whatever you do, uh, as as insignificant as they may seem at first. It will come back and help you in the future. So, this is a contour line. It's all bad because I had it. I didn't take good care of it. But if you <laughs> look hard enough, these are the leaves from, like, corn. And then this was a bucket he had lying around and some corn. So there we go. And that's me. Um, let's see. Yeah, and that's about it. Oh, this was, if you look closely, it's a um, 3D of a another, like, bottle thing. I don't know the correct term. And then don't be afraid to not do, you know, things that matter. <laughs> like, practice anime. Like, that doesn't really... I mean, you're... Come on. You gotta try different things or add your own flair to it. Because then you're not making art, you're just reproducing. So, yeah, even if you're afraid of it looking weird and ugly, like, you don't need to make masterpieces every time. And I think that's where, I think that's where a lot of artists go wrong. I'm thinking that, oh, I need it to look this certain way. Uh, or else... It's not good enough, and I'm a failure at, at being an artist. And I, that's a really bad thing to get into. Like, look, drawing should be used for therapy. I really wanted to cut my hair, and even though it looks like shit, like, I, I, all I wanted to do was cut my hair, and drawing it really helped me feel better about it. And this is from the hit show, Kill a Kill, and then this was... A different drawing and look I know that these are ugly and that my style you can't really tell what's going on but 
I don't know, it's really, uh, it should be used as therapy instead of, like, it needs to be this way. Seeing, these are really old, but, um, the, even cutesy thingies, like, if that's what makes you feel calm when you draw them, this is from freshman year. Oh, these are awful. And also you can notice a trend in things that people like to draw the most. Like, that was a self-portrait. Because I wanted to look nice. You know, and that's that's why people draw themselves really nice. And self-portraits, because they it's therapeutic for them to look nice. This was in freshman year, too. Weird things... They express you, then they don't need to appeal to others. They All they really need is to appeal to you for that moment. And I draw a lot of figures, and I wish back then I didn't, and I drew other things. But, I mean, I can't get mad at myself for that, for only drawing, like, one certain thing. Well, that's an application of employment. <laughs> okay. This is all freshman. Oh, this was sophomore. I was really into, like, porn. Alright. Um, but... I, I want all artists to know that you don't have to be a certain way in order to be an artist. An artist is someone that does different things and doesn't copy. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone... I'm pretty sure a large majority of people know, and even though it's ugly or some things don't turn out right, it doesn't mean you're a failure. I think that makes you an even better artist because you are going against what you are fed. Oh, this is like a scary, um, you know, just a monster. There's his nose and two eyes and his teeth. This is really old, and you, I was practicing with the light, the way that light hits fur. <laughs> uh, lame. Oh, this is all, like, this. these were blueprints, I guess, for my Canty, Conti cosplay. And, you know, you gotta do things that you don't know how to do in order to know what you're doing later on. That's just how pretty easy and feel okay to copy others because you like others work it's not a crime and you're not stealing by trying to you know trying to reproduce but put in your own flair of it it's really into horns and, and ears and actually I've made a lot and I'll show you in just a second but you gotta know that you're gonna suck and you gotta know, like, these, they're really off. But now I know what not to do ever since I drew them. And I really like... I wish sometimes that, like, there were more... There was more in life. So, of course, I would put more body... Like, body implications. That's me. You can always tell it's me if I have, like, curly hair and, like, a most of the time messy and big sweater. <laughs> dogs or animals that I copied. Well, like, I, I saw someone else's work and thought, I like this. I'm gonna do it myself. And I kind of like that. So I'm gonna put it on the side for now. Um, let's see. Let's see. This is just a pile. This isn't really, I didn't plan any of this. This is just what's showing up. It's kind of cool. These are from senior year. These are just markers. And, uh... Dragons. Me. Guess how you know it's me. Because I'm a body and nerves. No, just kidding. It has the horns. Horns didn't come in till like... Junior, senior year. Here's a big shoe from my drawing beginning class contour line. We didn't pick up the pencil for that one. Uh, I copied my friend's drawing. I didn't, I didn't draw that, but, like, he draws stuff like this. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, that's, that's the person that I copied from. 
like that's his face and he drew 